Hello everyone. Let's talk about climate change today. Today we will be discussing about climate change, global warming, acid rain, ozone layer depletion, nuclear accidents and hurricanes. Climate change. Climate change is a change in the global or regional climate patterns. It is caused by factors such as biotic processes variations in solar radiation received by earth, platonic and volcanic eruptions. Certain human activities have al also been identified as significant causes of climate change, often referred to as global warming. Now what are the reasons for climate change? Global concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, unscientific land usage, pollution, deforestation. These are the major reasons. Climate change will create more stress on the sustainable development capabilities of countries like India. The predictions for the Indian subcontinent suggest that there would be an increase in precipitation in the summer monsoons and decrease in rainfall during the winters. This could lead to increase in floods in the summer monsoons and droughts in the winter season. A rise in temperature is likely to accelerate the hydrological cycle, altering rainfall and magnitude. Climate change could have an impact on soil moisture, groundwater and surface water availability and occurrences of floods and droughts. Effects of climate change It leads to the increase of temperature, a rise of sea level and cause climate change, cause for acid rain. It leads to different types of health problems, especially it causes contagious diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, etc. Human societies will be severely affected by extreme climatic conditions such as droughts and floods. The situation of known availability of food, shelter and safe drinking water will lead to the disaster of mankind. It will seriously affect the agricultural production and also cause the reduction of food leading to starvation and malnutrition. It leads to destruction of our biodiversity and ecosystem. How to control and what are the strategies to be adopted? People should be enlightened. Our misuse of natural resource is the reason for this. We need to protect it by creating public awareness. Monitoring infectious diseases to detect early changes in incidence of diseases and take proper measures to prevent it. Take environmental management and institutional measures to reduce risk and to face disaster preparedness for floods, droughts and health related consequences. Enact proper legislations, especially to control pollution and protect environment. What is global warming? Global warming means increase in the average temperature of Earth's near surface air and the oceans. Climate change results from the global warming caused in turn by the presence and accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These gases, carbon dioxide and methane are released into the air by burning of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas as well as biomass. The emission of these greenhouse gases is the main reason for global warming. Global warming is also caused by land use change seen for example in the burning of forest that reduce forest cover and leads to deforestation. Acid rain Due to the burning of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas, chemicals such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide etc. are formed in the atmosphere and they mix with atmospheric air and other chemicals resulting in sulfuric acid, nitric acid and other harmful pollutants like sulfates and nitrates which are highly soluble in water. During the rains, these oxides react with large quantities of water vapor of the atmosphere and becomes acidic resulting in a condition called acid rains. Eventually, rain hits earth and the acid pollutants changes into dry particles and become acidic deposits. Now, let's see the effects of acid rain. It dissolves and washes away nutrients in the soil. It dissolves naturally occurring toxic substances and pollute water. 
it destroys our aquatic ecosystems by making water acidic and it affects plants and animal life. It affects wildlife species and entire ecosystem. Acid deposition damages buildings, automobiles and other structures made of stone and metal and cause extensive damage and ruins historic buildings. It adversely affects human life by creating health issues. Now, what are the solutions? Acid rain is a potential threat that affects the existence of mankind. Acid rain can be controlled up to a certain extent by avoiding or limiting the use of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide that leads to air pollution and also by reducing the burning of fossil fuels. Using of public transportation instead of private motor vehicles brings down the atmospheric pollution and also prevent acid rain. If industries use smoking stacks, atmospheric pollution can be prevented by blocking smoke. Next is ozone layer depletion. It is another challenge that needs to be addressed. It is one of the main reasons for global warming. Ozone is formed by the action of sunlight on oxygen and forms a layer 20 to 50 km above the surface of the earth. Ozone is highly poisonous gas with a strong odor. Ozone layer prevents ultraviolet rays falling from the sun to the earth. Chlorofluorocarbons used in the refrigerators and aerosol spray propellants pose a threat to the ozone layer. It is provided in Antarctica and uh, it is proved in Antarctica and Austria that ozone layer the becomes thinner. Ozone depletion causes disease such as skin cancer, cataracts, etc. It also affects our agricultural practices and food products. Reducing the quantity of CFC is the remedy for preventing ozone layer depletion. Nuclear accidents and holocaust. Nuclear energy is one of the important inventions of mankind. But the stroke of a nuclear accident will be more dreadful than all other calamities. Even a slight leak due to an accident will lead to a terrific disaster that would la last for long years. It is because nuclear device has radioactive elements that emit harmful radiations. It causes thermal pollution and the byproducts of radioactive fatally affects human life. Nuclear holocaust means the terror of disaster of the whole mankind when nuclear energy is used in the war. Thank you.